Jealousy will kill you. Jealousy will drive you mad. First Kings, go back to this. Let's read quick now. Time back in is First Kings chapter 1 and verse 5. All right, you got to move fast. Then, had, then Adonijah, the son of Hegith, exalted Adonijah, him, the son of Hegith, exalted himself. Now, I guarantee you, some false prophet somewhere on social media going to say, oh, he was talking about me, but he wouldn't call no name. Here I'm talking to the world, but That's a right. hit dog will holler. That's right. And they're going to give themselves away. Somebody, somewhere. Yeah. Who do the truth of God have to compete with? Absolutely nobody. Nobody. God has put this message in such a position. We don't have to be like nobody, but we strive to be like Jesus. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. Scripture says what? Then Adonijah, the son of Hegith, exalted himself. Hananiah, the son of Hegith, exalted himself. You men that say you leaders in churches, you better watch out. Yeah. That's right. Everything among your congregation that shine ain't gold. That's right. It may come from your own house. Yeah. It is written, a man foes shall be those of his own yeah. house. Yeah. It may come from your own relatives. It may come from your so-called associate pastor. It may come from the head of the choir. It may, came, right. it may come from the one that chauffeur you around, that carry your lunch bag, that pose as a briefcase. That's true. Come on, oh, yeah. It may come from a brother you appoint to minister in a congregation. Yeah. It may come from a so-called student minister, an understudy, an assistant. Don't be surprised. That's right. Don't get so caught up in what you're doing that you become blinded to your surroundings. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's right. This event happened repetitiously all down through scripture. Scriptures. It may be your partner in business. Yeah. Because your ability to articulate the business may be better than his or better than hers. And they may masquerade their jealousy with grins and gifts and compliments, but in the background, may try to maneuver you out of position so they can take credit for all the work you've done because they was too incompetent to do anything. That's right. That's right. Am I right, I said? That's right. Oh, yeah. Very true. When you have the right spirit, you will rejoice yes. at your brother or sister success. That's right. If any of my brothers or sisters is successful, spiritually and naturally, I thank God for whatever success that God bless you with. Without being covetous and said, oh, I wish I had it. I would. No, you, my brother, thank God for your talent. That's right. Rejoice with them that do rejoice. Never be covetousness among you. Never try to compete with each other over nothing. The law of scripture says, let every man abide where he is called. There's some that's called to do this. That's right. Come on, Jay. Hallelujah. Brethren, let every man. Let me make this example. Like I said, I come from a very, very, very close family. There's five of us brothers. Tony, Chris, Rick, me, Rock. Three sisters. Pixie, who deceased, the youngest one, Cookie, and oldest one. But God made choice among my family and called me to the ministry. God made choice. Not my father. Not my mother. It was God's decision. That's right. To reach to my mother's womb and form me in the womb and predestinate my entire life. Ordained it! 
that I will be, hallelujah, a preacher. God made, God, God sent, Jesus. God appointed, God taught, God authorized, given authority to represent authority. Not at no time that I would want to fast and ask God make me a preacher. Amen. But at no time did I beg and pray, make me a preacher. Let me carry your word. No. Amen. God made choice among us. Let's read that. In Acts chapter 15 and at verse 7. That's what? And when there had been much disputing, Peter rose up. Peter rose up. And said unto them, men and brothers. Men and brothers. You know how that a good while ago. You know how a good while ago. God made choice God among us. made choice among us. That the Gentiles by my mouth. That the Gentiles by my mouth. Should hear the word of the gospel and believe. I can say the same thing. Wonderful. And we have a large family. Amen. But it was God that made choice yeah. among us and made me a minister. That's right. Only God can make a man preach like this and have the results like this and take a firm, uncompromising stand in this manner. Not sneaking off getting liquor. That's right. Drink so much until it's like I got a tan. <laughs> That's right. Not trying to pay off women in the church to keep them quiet. Ain't got to pay nobody a dime. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. God, God made choice. God made and if choice. God made choice, you have no say so about ministry. You have none. That's right. God said, go wherever I send thee. That's right. And whatever I tell thee, That's thou right. shalt speak. That's why every place we go. Every place. It doesn't matter how many hundreds of preachers go to the same place. It doesn't matter. Every place that God sent us, there's results. That's right. So you preachers that's running behind Pastor Jennings, you're going to burn yourself out chasing me. Yes, you will. Listen, I'm not your boyfriend. Don't chase me. You will burn yourself out. Yes, you will. We're cool and cruising into every area, banging it down with Bible and cruise out. That's, that's what you do. We ain't begging nobody to come. God bring them. God brings them. That's right. And this is what I mean. You credit God and keep him first. I don't need two or three or four gods. This one, sometimes he's too much for me. But he's just right. Oh, yeah. Kings, real quick. Then back in 1 Kings 1 and verse 5. Yes. Then Adonijah, the son of Hegith, exalted himself. He exalted himself. Saying, I will be king. I will be king. And he prepared him chariots and horsemen and 50 men to run before him. It doesn't matter if a man owned a limousine. That doesn't mean that stuff. No. That doesn't mean nothing. No. If you preach Acts 2, 38, Acts 2, 4 and leading people, who put you in position to lead? What's coming out of your mouth? Who's preaching out of you? Right. Are you preaching out of anger, hatred, jealousy, vindictiveness, hurt, pain, agony? Why are you fellas out here 10, 20, 30, 40 years and your results is nothing? Nothing. Don't that bother you? Amen. Look at it. Amen. He whom God has sent. Oh, yeah. That's right. Speak of the words of God, God and we'll get the results of God like God promised. That's right. What did he say? Now in the book of St. Matthew chapter 6. Don't go back to Kings. We quick. My back, time is moving. Back in 1 Kings chapter 1 and verse 5. Yes. Then Adonijah the son of Hekith exalted himself. Adonijah the son of Hekith exalted himself. Saying I will be king. I will be in authority. And he prepared him chariots and horsemen and 50 men to run before him. He got a group together. Yeah. You always will get some nut to follow anybody. That's right. I guarantee you right now, if a brother would jump up right in here now and run out, some nut going to follow him. Yes, sir. That's true. In any of the branch locations in America, Europe, uh, France, Paris, London, anywhere, any nut. <laughs> Somebody was telling me I got a call from Bronx, New York, that one of the older brothers 
uh, starts some little webcast and he's in his car preaching, <laughs> recording himself and putting it on social media. And got my name there, Pastor Jennings, in a picture of a little white Jesus. That's not our teaching. Oh, no. You brother, you cut, I believe his name is Antonio, if I'm not mistaken. Antonio, stop that foolishness. Right. Hey, man, I, you may be zealous, but just stop it. You're not representing God. You ain't representing the church. Oh, that's right. Not at all. No. They have a zeal of God, but not according to knowledge. knowledge. If they knew what this thing consists of, they wouldn't be eager for it. That's right. You fellows that always want to use Pastor Jenna's name to bring viewers to your program. See, that shows God didn't send you. Didn't send you. That's right. Because if God sent you, you would not need Pastor Jenna's name for viewers. For viewing. You would just use the name of the Lord Jesus. That's right. Amen. Are you getting what I'm telling you? Amen. Listen. And his father had not displeased him at any time. Oh, father backed up his wicked son, Ananijah, real quick. And his father had not displeased him at yes. any time, saying, why hast thou done so? Not even his father questioned what he was doing. That's right. Real quick. And he also was a very goodly man. Good fellow. And his mother bare him after Absalom. Yes. And he conferred with Joab, the son of Zeruiah, and with Abiathar, the priest. And they following Adonijah helped Wait him. Wait a minute. Who hooked up with him too? And he conferred with Joab, the Joab, son of Zeruiah. The, the, the son of Zeruiah. And with Abiathar, the priest. Got some preachers with him. And they following Adonijah helped him. You always would get some weak nuts yeah. that'll follow anything. Yeah. In other words, the ones that followed him got the same spirit just like them. That's right. That's right. Yeah, imagine that. Brother Bobby is sitting into the truth that don't believe in women preachers. And then he go out and start justifying women preachers. And then some folk in the truth start saying, well, I knew it was right all the time. Yeah. Yeah. He go out speaking against the baptism in the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody going to follow him and say, you know what? I didn't agree with it either. The water was too cold. <laughs> you always can find someone that got that same mm. unbelief in them. That's yeah. right. Touching the word of God. That's right. They're like a chameleon. They are green when they're among the righteous. But they show their true colors when they get among them that's like them, the wicked. That's right. I don't care if you get weak. Believe what the scripture says. Yeah. If you have a tough time obeying it, believe what the scripture says. Hallelujah. If you have a tough time coming up to it, strive and fight the devil. But believe what the word of God says. That's right. Listen. And he conferred with Joab, the son of Zeruiah. Yes. And with Abiathar, the priest. And they following Adonijah helped him. But Zadok, the priest. Uh oh. But Zadok. But Zadok, the priest. The priest. And Benaiah, the and son Benaiah, of Jehoiada. the son of Jehoah. And Nathan, the prophet. Nathan, the prophet. And Shimei and Rehob. Sound men. Yeah. Be quick, son. And the mighty men which belong to David. What kind of men? Mighty men. Which, which belonged to King David were not with Adonijah. Wonderful. That's what I want, mighty men. That's what do you mean? Men. Sound oh, men. Yes. That's willing to be taught, not get revelations from a cartoon. That's right. Pot pie tell him one thing, and then olive oil appeared unto him and gave him a revelation that Brutus is arguing with. That's right. Huh? Amen. What kind? Mighty men, mighty which, men, which belong to David. To God, that's why God is blessing his work. So he gave us mighty men. Mighty and men. I'm even watching the mighty men. That's and, right. Yes, that's I am. Right. Yeah, man. Oh, oh, yeah. I'm watching the mighty men. Come on. Yeah, man. Uh, we, uh, the, the evaluation team they made a call. Brothers that are interested in ministering during the last convention. And they said about 21 came. That's interested in it. Fill out the evaluation form. I don't mean everyone that fill out the form is going to qualify. That's right. Because it's not the evaluation team decision. That's right. Their job is to evaluate you. Amen. Amen. They got the, after that, they got to show themselves before the priest. That's right. Yeah. And you bear in mind, I, when I say I don't care who you are, I mean it down below the soles of my foot. 
I don't believe in putting a brother in ministry because he's a friend. A friend don't mean a thing to me. That's true. I believe scripture. That's right. I'm not like these false prophets. Favors put you in the pool of pit. Favors will send you to hell. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. That's why a lot of men don't like this strictness and they get mad and they run out and find a false prophet who don't know the Bible and that false prophet will throw a title on them real quick. Yeah. And it won't be for long. They won't stay with their false stay prophet long. Yeah. They just go there to get the license and then run. Yeah. 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 Amen. That's right. Amen. But when you see the steadfastness, years roll, roll out. Basement still here. Yeah. Briar Road still yeah. here. Frankfurt, Frankfurt Avenue oh, still yeah. here. Lindley Avenue still here. Yeah. Steadfastness. That's why I want steadfastness. That's right. Not good scriptural quotas. That's right. That's right. Amen. I'd rather have a man uh, in the hood who can't fight but stick to me in war than a person that got a bunch of mouth. And then when it's time to war, all he sells is wolf tickets. And when war breaks out, you can't find him. That's right. Give me the one that can't fight, get knocked down, but he, he, he's still scrapping. Still scrapping, clothes tore up. He get beat more than anybody, but he never run. Yes. Never run. But the one that sell wolf tickets, while he's selling wolf tickets, he's backing up. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, that's right. But he's backing up. Amen. Give me the one that get beat up all the time. <laughs> you ain't gonna stop now, man. Get beat up all the time. But when it come time, hey, look, we going down there to Hang Street. He coming, casting right. everything. Don't forget me. That's right. In other words, he's committed. He don't do a lot of talking. A bunch of mouth don't mean nothing. Time yes, determines strength. That's right. Time yes. determines faithfulness. Time oh, yeah. determines stability. That's and right. time manifests love and hate. Yeah. Are you listening? Amen. Oh, yes. What did he say? And the mighty men which belonged to David were not with Adonijah. That's what? And, Ad and Adonijah slew sheep and oxen and fat cattle by hold the Hold it, hold it, hold it. He didn't wait for David to die. So he went on doing kingly duties. That's right. I'm not only going to declare, declare myself king, um, but it's time for me to go have a big feast yeah. like a king. Yep. Look at what he done now. And Ananias slew sheep and oxen and fat cattle uh -huh. by the stone of Zeholith, yes. which is by Anrajel. And called all his brethren, the king's sons, and all the men of Judah, the king's servants. Yes. But Nathan the prophet. But Nathan the prophet. And Benaiah. What? And the mighty men, and Solomon his brother, he called not. Every congregational crook. Yeah. Every business crook. Uh -huh. Every organizational crook. Right. Whether it's in religion, whether it's in politics, whether it's in the educational system, whether it's in the business world, they know who not to call. That's, That's right. True. That's true. They know who won't tolerate their foolishness. Oh, That's right. Yeah. They know if I call him or her, they're going to cause chaos and they're going to ruin everything and I can't put over my plan like I want to. I don't want them to be a part of it. That's right. So I'm just going to call hypocrites. Yeah. Come on. Come on. That's right. They are called weak-minded, oh, yes. incompetent uh -huh. hypocrites. Oh, yes. Because they want somebody who's worthless just like them. That's right. That's what they are. That's what they just say in the street. Flunkies. That's right. And that's what you have. Political flunkies. Business flunkies. Choir flunkies. Church flunkies. Apostolic flunkies. That's Islamic right. Islamic flunkies. Baptist flunkies. Non-denominational flunkies. 
Go ahead. Pole pit carrying, Cadillac driving, fingernails shining, cross wearing flunkies. That's right. Are you listening? Amen. A flunky ain't a real man. And a flunky ain't a real woman. A man stand up to a flunky. Oh, yeah. That's and right. a woman will stand up to a flunky. That's right. When they see you trying to deviate and trying to undermine them, they will declare war. Yeah. Wonderful. A flunky, all you got to do is let them hold some money. Yeah. yeah. They want to test your flunkiness. Yeah. That's, right. That's what happened to Williams. Yeah. There was a fella who backslid and started some little church and sent Williams $500. That's right. Didn't he, Williams? Yes, he did. Sent Williams $500. Offered me $500. Offered him $500. Yeah. Cheap. Cheap. As talented as this man is, you guys going to offer $500? I'm only worth 500 to him. No, you only, only worth 500 dollars to the man. And here in my eyes, he and his talent is priceless. Yeah. 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 Am I right, I said? Yeah. yeah. A cheap person offer you cheap things. Are oh, you listening to the old man? No. Oh, we're going to hit hard. Yeah. You know this is going to upset social media. Oh, yeah. It's going to upset them. God oh, knows yeah. that. Oh, yeah. I, I'm pretty sure somebody now is scrambling, getting their camera together. Come on, <laughs> we, got, we got to do something. We got to say something about this message. That's right. Somebody going to make some type of little podcast or audio either in their car, on the toilet, in the tub. Breakfast table in the oven somewhere. That's right. Trying to convince the public they're not a flunky. Yeah. And all we doing is preaching God's word. That's right. I'm not talking about nobody in particular. I'm talking to the world. That's right. Tony Harvin. He loved this program. Thank God he, he, he fills this program up on his website. Points the people to the truth of God.